Welcome to today's lecture. Today we will be studying about the vertical tracing or the sagittal tracing of the peritoneum. So this picture is the sagittal section in which here you can see the liver. So this is the stomach. This is the transverse colon. This is the small intestine. This is the rectum. This is the urinary bladder. So in this picture so this is the anterior wall whereas here this is the posterior wall. So coming to the peritoneal tracing. So here this is the liver above you are having the diaphragm. So the peritoneum lining the entire anterior abdominal wall as well as the diaphragm is by the first layer of the peritoneum. Then what you can see most of the liver so this is the first part first layer which is surrounding the liver then you can see this is the second layer so most of the liver is enclosed by the first layer as well as the second layer of the peritoneum then what you can see the first layer as well as the second layer so both these layers get reflected at the porta hepatis to form the lesser omentum. So this is the lesser omentum which is fo formed by the from the first layer as well as the second layer. Then the lesser omentum encloses the lesser curvature of the stomach and later these layers pass downwards to form the greater omentum. So here you are having the lesser omentum and both these layers are enclosing the lesser curvature of the stomach and later they continue downwards to form the greater omentum. So this greater omentum it begins so what is seeing here this entire thing is the greater omentum it begins from the greater curvature of the stomach and first it descends as anterior two layers and it ascends as posterior two layers. The greater omentum is made up of four layers of the peritoneum that is layer 1, 2, 3 and 4. The folding is in such a way that the first layer will become the fourth layer and the second layer will continue as the third layer. So here you can see this entire thing this greater omentum. So you are having it is having like anterior two layers as well as posterior two layers. So it is numbered as 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the arrangement what you can see the folding of this greater omentum this first layer is continuing as the fourth layer whereas the second layer is continuing as the third layer. So what you can see this third layer as well as fourth layer so they enclose the transverse colon to continue as the transverse mesocolon. Then the third layer lines the structures in the upper part of the posterior abdominal wall. So this is a posterior abdominal wall. Upper part of it is lined by the third layer. Then later it gets reflected on liver as a second layer. So you can see the third layer later it is getting reflected on the liver as the second layer whereas this fourth layer what, what is present here they pass around the small intestine so this is a small intestine to form the mesentery of the small intestine later the peritoneal lines the structures in the posterior abdominal wall so this posterior abdominal wall if you see the upper part is lined by the third layer Whereas the lower part of posterior abdominal wall is lined by the fourth layer. Later from the posterior abdominal wall it descends into the true pelvis in front of the rectum. So this is a rectum. It is descending in front of the rectum. The tracing of peritoneum is different in males and in females. So this picture is the sagittal section of the male. So in male the peritoneum passes in front of this rectum and behind this urinary bladder. So what, what you can see a pouch will be formed here and that is called the recto vesicle pouch.
so this is a section sagittal section of the female pelvis so here you can see this rectum this is the uterus this is the urinary bladder so in females what you can see it when it is passing in front of the rectum and behind the uterus a pouch is formed that is called the recto uterine pouch then you can see another fold what is formed here that is in front of the uterus and behind the urinary bladder and that pouch that is called the vesico uterine pouch later the peritoneum in males as well as females it passes from the urinary bladder to the anterior abdominal wall which will complete the sagittal tracing of the peritoneum coming to clinical importance the most dependent part of the peritoneal cavity below the pelvic brim is called the recto uterine pouch it is also called as pouch of douglas d o u g l a s so here the pus will be collected and it forms the pelvic abscess thank you for watching